Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Tom Ash Football Channel. Over the past week, I set myself out a challenge to go to the pitch every day for five days straight and shoot 100 footballs at the goal and see what sort of goals I could score. Things proved a lot more difficult than I thought when I realised how much time it takes to shoot 100 ball each day. I was there for hours on end trying to score the best goals for you guys and with some incredible wind, especially on the first day. But hey, in this video, I'm going to show you some of the best goals I scored throughout the 500 shots I took. Make sure to hang around to the end of the video where I'll show you the top five goals I scored and let's get into the video. Just quickly before we get into the video, guys, really appreciate the support recently. If you guys are coming along from TikTok or Instagram, I've had incredible growth over the last month or so, so I appreciate you all for that. I really want to grow my YouTube though. I'm currently sitting on 350 odd subscribers. I want to get to that 1,000 as quick as I can. So please make sure to consider subscribing. If you enjoy the content, leave a like. It'll help me out a lot. And leave a comment. Let me know if you enjoyed the content. And yeah, let's get right into the video. I hope you enjoy. So as day one started, I quickly realized it was going to be a very long afternoon as the wind was pretty much unbearable to play football in. I had to deal with the, the tripod falling down at least five or six times. I mean, look at this even. I'm trying to curl the ball here. And that ball is curling and staying straight. Like the wind was just simply ridiculous. In the quest to score some absolute bangers, I definitely shanked a fair few. So enjoy some of these absolute belters. <laughs> After struggling early on with the wind and a few shanks, I started to find my feet a little bit, hitting a couple nicer strikes. Um, took a little while before I started hitting the ball quite well. It was so difficult with the wind. This one in particular was painful off the post, but I was getting there, little by little scoring some nice ones. This one had some incredible movement. If only it had to hit the top corner. Um, yeah, look at that, how dead is that ball? Nice little volley here. Once again, just get get my eye in a little bit. And this one was probably the first one that was quite nice. In off the post, not bad with the wind. This hurt. And the fact that it bounced over the fence twice and rolled down the road really, really hurt me. But nevertheless, I continued and hit an absolute peach there on the right foot. Curled another one straight through the top corner. There was a hole there. Look at this, by the way. Right in the top bin. Talk to me. And then a few minutes later, same result. This time it stayed in the net very satisfyingly curling into the top corner. With the wind, it was really difficult and I was so satisfied when this one went into the top corner. And um, yeah, as you can see, quite shocked. And look at this, just to sum up the day, the wind once again rears its ugly face and falls over. Day two started off with this free kick, smashing the crossbar. I then hit a few shots that weren't bad. Good strikes, but nothing to write home about. Um, I think the hardest thing with this challenge was, in my head, I really wanted to hit absolute screamers for the video. Um, so I would often hit some average, sort of some decent goals, but nothing to, you know, go crazy about. And I really, really pushed for some bangers. But don't worry, if you hang around to the end of the video, I'll show you the top 10, and there are some absolute peaches. After taking a few decent little efforts, I decided to go back to the free kicks. I felt without the wind, it was quite a good day to hit free kicks. And as you can see coming up now, there were a couple beauties. But first, a couple of little nice half volleys here. This one in particular from a mile out wasn't too bad. But back to the free kicks. This one, a cheeky little sort of flick into the top corner, followed up by this absolute peach. Smacking into the net in the top right-hand side. So satisfying to see on replay. Look at it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I felt so often the universe did not help me out in this challenge. Day three started with Eden, my mate, absolutely scoring some crackers while I had to sit and watch as I scored some pretty average finishes. And as you can see later on, I had such an unlucky day hitting the crossbar and the post multiple times. Sit back and enjoy my pain.
After a few efforts hitting the post, these next three were the most painful, especially, oh, look at that curling away. But this left footed strike from a mile out really hurt me. I still lose sleep over it now. Uh, I did bury one left footer just to finish off the day on a high note. I was back without a keeper for day four and the wind once again came back to haunt me. It wasn't as bad as the first day, but certainly, certainly made it a frustrating evening. This one though, look at this absolutely satisfying grass trimmer. I mean, oh, and into the bottom corner as well, straight through the hole in the net as I do so often. <laughs> Another nice little half volley, curling effort onto the post, hit the post a couple times this day. This one hurt very much. Could have been an absolute screamer. Another free kick onto the post once more. I mean, at this stage, I was just fed up. Oh, wait, look at that. It's another post. Well, day five was a beautiful day in Melbourne, no wind at all, sunny as anything, but unfortunately I had plans, so I only had about half an hour to come out and have a kick, and just typically, it was one of my best days to strike the football. I felt brilliant, I mean, look at this strike, into the top corner, it's just hit the bar. Imagine that went in. I could only hit for about half an hour, but the kicks I got out of it were very good, especially, I mean, look at this free kick, one of my favorites from the experiment, this one too, with some serious whippage to finish off the day. Heading into the top five strikes from this video, this one on the left foot, curling with the wind. The day one wind was frustrating, but on this effort, I used it to my advantage to score a beauty. Number four was this strike, which actually I should have reacted a lot more excited about because it was an absolute cracker. Um, I don't know why it didn't feel that good at the time, but it was great. Okay, into the top three, and first up it's this one on the left foot. Maybe questions about the goalkeeping, but it was certainly a nice effort into the top left-hand corner. Number two, and well, there had to be a free kick in it, and this was my favourite from the few days. An absolute beauty in the German kit. Oh, yeah, top right. Love that. And number one was from an absolute mile out. I've zoomed it in. I wish you could see where the box line is because this is at least 25 yards, day one, through the wind, and it was an absolute peach, and boy, did I enjoy it. It was a perfect way to finish off the video. An absolute cracker. All right, guys, that is it for the video this week. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments which goal you thought was my best. Tell you what, looking back at the list now, I reckon some of the ones that didn't make the top five maybe could have had a shout. But hey, let me know in the comments what you think, which is your favorite. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe. Help me get to 1,000 subs as quick as possible. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Ciao.